What's up guys, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to turn your iOS 13.7 jailbroken iPhone into an iOS 14 iPhone. By the time you're watching this, the 13.7 jailbreak just came out. So if you're on iOS 13.7 and you want iOS 14 features, then installing all of these tweaks in conjunction with each other sort of makes a similar experience. Of course, as always, the full list of tweaks will be down below in the description as well as their respective repos. And all of the tweaks shown in today's video are 100% free. Super excited to be back. All right, guys, let's get started iOS 14 brought a smaller Siri UI to iOS. With the tweak small Siri, you can achieve this same effect. It doesn't look the exact same, it's not as cool, but it still looks pretty good. In iOS 14, the biggest feature by far was widgets on the home screen, something we never expected Apple to do. On iOS 13, with the tweak called HS Widgets, you can achieve this same effect. Simply put your device in edit mode, and then from there, you can add whatever widget you want to, and then it shows up right there. You can resize the widgets if you want to and make them bigger or smaller. And of course, just like the real widgets feature in iOS 14, there's a bunch of widgets to choose from. And this tweak really does make all of the difference and it really makes me feel like I'm using an iOS 14 device. Back tap was a new hidden feature in iOS 14. With a double tap or triple tap on the back of your device on iOS 14, with it enabled, you can perform certain actions like opening the app switcher and doing various other things. If you're still stuck on iOS 13 and this is something that really interests you, don't worry, with Activator, this has been a thing for years. By performing a certain Activator gesture that I set up in the settings, I can do things like toggle the lock screen and so much more. For some reason, years ago, Apple added picture-in-picture -picture mode to iPad, but for whatever reason, never added it to iPhone. In iOS 14, Apple finally brought this feature over to iPhone, and it's great. You can dismiss it for the minute if you don't want it there, or you can bring it back and resize the window as well. It's really nice to multitask and look at another application while watching a video. Another iOS 14 feature we never thought Apple was going to add that is so much like Android is an app drawer iOS 14 brought this feature to iPhone in the way of App Library. App Library gives you a list view of all of your applications installed on your device. This tweak achieves the same thing and lets you search for whatever you want. And just like in iOS 14, how you can hide certain applications by hiding pages of apps, this tweak will allow you to achieve the same thing as well. It works a little bit differently, but it's still pretty cool. Snowboard helps you custom theme your icons. Theming has been around for a very long time, and even in stock iOS, you could do tricks with Safari and get it to redirect through Safari and things like that. This year with Siri Shortcuts, for whatever reason, custom theming became huge as it was trending on Twitter and everybody was talking about it. Snowboard allows you to basically have smooth custom theming for your device. According to some early reports in 14.3 beta, apparently customizing your icons through Siri Shortcuts no longer gives you that annoying redirect. And maybe, just maybe, with the popularity of this, it might make Apple consider in a future iOS version adding proper theming. This is for sure a step in the right direction, so I wonder with iOS 15 if Apple is going to actually add proper theming support in the App Store. Normally in iOS, if you open up a link, the default browser is Safari. In iOS 14, Apple added the ability to actually change the default browser. So now when I tap on a link, instead it redirects to Firefox. On iOS 13, with this tweak, I can achieve the same functionality and also change default applications like Maps and so on and so forth. But here, I did the exact same thing and just changed my default browser to Firefox and you guys can see it opens right there. For whatever reason, when taking a picture using the front-facing camera, iOS flips the image. This year, Apple added a mirror front camera toggle but for whatever reason, not all devices are supported. This tweak adds it for iOS 13 and unsupported devices. In 14.2, Apple added a music recognition toggle to the control center. 
you can tap on it and play a song and it would recognize it. With CC Shazam, you basically get the exact same thing as there's a control center toggle and you can tap on it and it'll recognize the song. Looks a little bit different. This one brings up Siri, but it still functions the exact same. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps up today's video. If you did enjoy, please make sure to hit that like button. Also, go ahead and subscribe and turn on that post notification bell so that way you never miss out on a brand new upload. More videos coming soon and hopefully an Uncover iOS 14 jailbreak isn't too far away. Again, thanks for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.